couch dogs need palaces. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? For the past couple of months, you've been asking me to make a lesson on the Lickin' Riff intro, so why not? You just heard it, so let's jump right into the lesson. Um, you start with an inverted blues turnaround. The blues turnaround is this. Okay, and we're gonna invert it. Okay, so you play uh, on strengths three and six, you play one and zero. One on the third string, open sixth. Then on the same couple of strings, strings three and six, you play two and two, and three and three. Okay, so on strings three and six, you play one and zero, two and two, three and three. Inverted blues turnaround. Um, now you play an E chord, and you play strings two and six, then you play this, strings four, three, okay, with your thumb and the finger. Then strings six and two, then four and three. Okay, so you start by playing strings two and six simultaneously, then four, three, six, two, four, three. Okay, it sounds like this. Okay? Then you play an A7 chord and you play this. Almost exactly the same thing, but your bass string now is the fifth string instead of the sixth string. So you play strings two and five simultaneously, then four, three, five, two, four, three. Okay? So E, A7, this feels so funny teaching it, um, and then this. Okay? Um, this is B7, but with an open E string, so it's um, it's B7 add 11, if you like. And um, you play this. Strings 1 and 5, okay, simultaneously. Then 4, 3, 5, 2, 4, 3. Okay? So it's this. So before we learn the last lick, which is a blues turnaround, um, let's recap. Inverted turnaround, E, A7, B7 and 11, you start with the E string, then you do this, and then this chord talk about it in a second. So prepare your second and third fingers on strings three and one, okay? And you slide on the third string, you slide from two to four, okay? And you play the four on the E string, okay? Then you slide from four to three on the third string, and you play three on the E string. Then you slide from three to two on the third string, and then you play the open E string and one on the third. Okay, got it? And since you have your finger on the E string all the way, you hear the slide on the E string when you slide from three to two. You hear the E string? Got it? You hear both of them. And then, um, the open uh, E string and one on the third, and then this. Okay? Now this strange chord is not too strange when you take a really close look at it. Um, it's the open first and sixth strings, okay, the open E strings, and 12, 11, 12, 11 on strings two, three, four, and five. Now, it's a half diminished chord shape, but it's not a half diminished chord. Um, why is that? Because um, while if you play strings two, three, four, and five by themselves, okay, you get a G sharp or a flat minor seven flat five chord or a half diminished chord. Okay, um, if you play it with the open E bass string, you get uh, you get this chord actually. Okay, this this is E nine 
a jazz E9 chord. It's got the seventh in it and the ninth. Now, it's exactly this. But we've got a low E bass. Now, why this shape? Because it's got the open E string along with it. And that gives it this special flavor. Okay? So, from the first string upwards, upwards physically, downwards musically, 0, 12, 11, 12, 11, 0. This is E9. And that's the Lick and Riff intro. Okay, and that is it. Now you know the Lick and Riff intro. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but I guess you're already subscribed if you're watching the Lick and Riff intro lesson. So I'll see you the next lesson. Don't forget to go get the tab from the description and donate something to the channel if you want. Everything goes right back into your lessons and your guitar education, but I guess you already know that, so bye for now. Thanks for watching.